Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Sexy Slut 65 And today I am talking about spam. All kinds of spam. Um, spam emails are one of the lowest case of spam. And there's also the meat. The meat that is just a canned bologna, a canned ham. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, point is, we're talking about spam. Spam bots are one of the funniest things to me because with spam bots, when I was, um, you know, searching the web or back when I, uh, a certain point where I was just on the internet all the time and, you know, uh, tried not to get catfished by random th people and, um, I don't know, I guess a young dumb kid, um, I think it's always funny to just fuck with people. There would be spam bots where there'd be an automated message and it would just send, you know, hey, what's up? And you'd be like, fuck off. And then, you know, it would return to just keep replying to how it wants it to go. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm very lonely too. And you'd be like, fuck off. And and I would just do that. Like, I'm gonna remember one time I got a spam bot that it would say, hey, uh, looking for a good time, or, you know, some bullshit like that. Some fake, like, sexy, uh, you know, spam bullshit. And it would say, um, I don't know, something like, you want to have some fun or something stupid like that. And I just said, like, I had AIDS. And then it would just kept going, saying, this is my link, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fuck off, you dumb bitch, I have AIDS. Something stupid like that. But there was one incident where I had a spam bot, and I did what I normally do and try to fuck with the uh, said spam bot, where she said, hey, what's up? And I replied with, I have herpes. The weird part about it was I did not get a response back after that. So I'm guessing I was an actual person, but who cares, you know? It's such an an... I'm gonna fuck this word up. Anonymity. You know what word I'm talking about. I just can't pronounce it right right now. There's such an anonymity. Am... 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 Anonymity. I, I don't fucking care anymore. Uh, with being on the internet. And, I mean, this could be an internet rant, but I think more so spam. Um, it's just easier to say what you feel or just fuck around. It's like t uh, prank phone calls. Prank phone calls... You could just say whatever because, you know, it's not like they're going to find out who you are unless they got fucking caller ID. And if so, you fucking deserve to get caught. Um, but it's that thing of you can kind of fuck with um, someone to a certain point. I think I'm sure I'm, I'm alone here and this might be a, a niche thing to talk about. But spam is very fun to fuck with. Um, it's annoying when it comes to like viruses and shit. But when it comes to spam, I have so much fun. Um, people asking me, you know, telemarketers. This is a perfect example of that. People call up and say, hey, I want to talk to Mr. You know, Blankety Blank. Because I'm not going to say my last name on here. Um, I want to talk to Mr. Blankety Blank. And I'll be like, oh, sure, he's dead, though. Or, um, okay, sure, he's, you know, you fuck with people. You, you, it, it's spam... I know it's some people are calling because it's their job, but it's just so much fun to just to just troll. I think spam and prank phone calls is the first line of uh, trolling when it came to um, you know the first uh, pioneers of trolling was prank phone calls and just fucking with people. Next time a telemarketer calls you, just just do this. That's my, that's my phone noise. Brr, brr. Hello? Uh, yes, this is uh, uh, the uh, telemarketing of such and such, of who gives a fuck. Uh, just calling to see if, uh, is there a blankety blank bank here? Yeah, uh, hold on, let me go get him. Hey, Dad! Some asshole's on the phone! And then you uh, proceed to act like your father and come on. And pretend to, um, you know, fuck with them. I mean, telemarketing, I think if you have fun with it and not just fucking curse someone out, um, it's fun. 
it's a fun way to uh, meet new people. <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah, I mean, I think spam in general is annoying. I don't know why people would think that. Um, just, just in general, the just the whole concept of trying to to sucker people, just the con man aspect of, you know, I'm gonna trick someone into doing this, and I'm gonna be okay with it because it's, I don't know, just fucking. Uh, legally binding if you do something like timeshares timeshares you give people your money but you know it's I guess it's a legal thing you you sign off on a timeshare um, I guess spam in general is more so just getting just stupid shit in the mail and you know I remember uh, a couple of Christmases ago I decided to be a nice person and give to uh, it's like fucking save the save the kids fun or save the children fun um, that's bullshit. I mean, I, I gave, what, $5 a month? Or no, I gave, no, I'm sorry. They told me to give $5 to the kids, and I ended up giving $5 for a good couple months because they did not say, you know, in the, you know, binding contract or whatever. I mean, I'm sure it has somewhere in small print, hey, we're gonna sucker you, you're a dumb cunt. Um, but I feel like it's more so... Anyway, the, the end of that story was that I ended up uh, fucking having getting mail from them for a good couple of months. Uh, I still do get m mail from them. Um, don't give them money anymore. Um, it's the same concept with um, there's a store. Being a big fan of F of uh, being a big fan of pops, uh, Fye has some exclusives. Fye is such a fucking scam when it comes to asking for your email. When you're in Fye, don't ever give them your email. You tell them to fuck off. Or if they say, oh, I'm sorry, what's your email so I can uh, look you up? You just say no. Just say no. Don't even explain it. Just say no. Be like, no. No. No, thank you. Um, me and my friend do it all the time. Because we go to FYE occasionally. Not anymore, because they're pieces of shit. But it's those concepts of, like, those cons behind those stores that you go to. GameStop. Not as bad. Not as bad as you think GameStop would be compared to FYE. FYE is the fucking worst. Even when it comes to, like I said, with the pops. Hot topic. Not as bad as fucking FYE. FYE is one of the worst fucking companies I've ever... F just, just awful. Just awful. And if that's fine. If they have like some kind of business plan or commission thing where they need to um, get a certain amount of subscriptions. It's fucking stupid because... You sign up for that, and you keep getting signed up for it because you keep getting charged. It is such a awful business plan to fuck with their customers. Why would you want to fuck with your customers like that? It's just, it's just so fucking annoying. Just spam, and in general, the Nigerian princess, princes that that fucking email you asking for this amount of money. It's just, it's just awful, and it's an awful thing to pull off with people and and people are okay with it but we are in a world where people are okay with it you know what because of the anim anonymity fuck i keep messing that up that you don't have to deal with dealing with the person's like dealing with the person's you know shit you you don't have that connection you don't have that that part of you that's like oh i did that to someone i i fucked with someone's head so much or I fucking charge someone something I never told them I was going to charge them for. I fucking just... I'm a dickhead. So that's it. I just want to talk about spam. Um, I'll talk more about FYE if I, if I really wanted to. I would talk all day about FYE and how awful they are. Um, but that's it for today. Um, I'll see you guys next time. And um, make sure to tip your waitresses and your Nigerian princes later. Th some things that you don't have privacy on. But it's like it's such a cool thing to see people who can go into that kind of business and then come out of it. Like, I'll give you some names. There's a woman, Skin Diamond. She 